Okay, so now, now that we've figured out the config files, we're going to talk about layouts. And um, I'm just barely getting into this. I've been using Moto since the very first version. Um, and I'm just barely getting into this because I've never really had to set up my own layout. I've always found that the Moto layouts that they've had have been totally awesome. Uh, but now we want to do some custom workflows at work. And so we're setting up some new layouts to kind of get stuff out of the way for people who don't really need to use it and make stuff a little more functional. And this is really rudimentary. I'm sure there's, you know, th there's way better ways to do this and much more in depth and details um, to do this. But uh, this is just a simple way of doing it um, so that you can kind of customize your interface the way you want to. So the first thing you're going to notice is this is called a tabbed layout. And if I hit control tab, you'll notice that it toggles between um, all the different layout options. So I can go tabbed, I can go animate, now I'm in my animate tab. I can go to the layout tab, and you know there's no more tabs there. Uh, I can go to model layout, uh, paint, you know, all these things. But I don't have the tan, I don't have the tabbed view uh, because I'm not in the tabbed layout. So I can go back to my tabbed layout, and now I've got that. Now say I want to just create a whole new, whole new custom layout. I'm going to say layout, um, layout or new, and I'm going to say berries. Oops, <laughs> I named it something. Uh, okay, I'm going to say delete berry. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to say layout, save as berries layout. Okay, so now if I come here and I look under layouts, I've got this new one called berries layout. Okay, and uh, <laughs> there's nothing here. So the first thing I want to do, I've just got a viewport here. That's all this thing is, is just a big viewport that I can split up, I can put new tools in, I can do all kinds of things. First thing I want to do is figure out how I want it split up. I'm going to just kind of recreate the default moto uh, item list, shader tree, and properties over here. And then I want my um, preset browser down here, and I want a preview tab and a 3D model view tab up here. So I'm going to do that. So the way that we do that is there's these widgets on the side here and here, okay? And I'm gonna right click on this one and say split vertical and horizontal. Now, the thing that you have to understand, vertical doesn't mean split it up and down. It means make two panels that are vertical, one on top of the other. So it's actually splitting it horizontally, but it's creating two vertical uh, layout or two vertical viewports. So that that is, you gotta remember that. And then horizontal means put them side to side, okay? So I wanna go side to side. So I'm going to go horizontal, and I'm going to drag this over here. And then I want to take this one again, and I want to say split vertical. So this is at the bottom. So now this is going to be my preset browser. This one's going to be a tabbed view, or a tab view with shader tree and item list, and then properties down here. And this one's going to be a tab view with preview and a 3D edit. So the first thing we're going to do is come create this one. So what I'm going to do is come up to this widget, just left click on it, and I'm going to say... I want to go tabbed viewport. Okay, so now there's a tab here, and I've got to put something in this tab. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to say 3D edit 3 model view. Okay, so there's my model view, and I can rotate around and do all that good stuff in it. And I want to create another one that's a preview. So I'm going to create the new tab, and I'm going to go, let's see here, where's preview? It's right here, application preview. Okay? So now here's my preview render. So now I've got this tab and this tab. Okay? Now over here I want to do um, item properties, shader tree, and um, the item, item list. So I want tabs up top and I want just normal down below. So before I do tabs, I'm going to right click and say split vertical so that this is down here. Um, and I want to do a left click here and go application tab viewport. And then change this one to... Um, data lists, item list, add another one in, and I want it to be my shader tree. Where is that? There it is. Shader tree. Okay, so I've got my item list and my shader tree. And then down here, I'm just going to right click or click, click on it, left click on the widget, go down to properties and say item properties. Okay, so that's all I've got. So I've got this one set up. Now I want to come down here and I want this to be my preset browser. So I'm going to click here and say, boop, here we go, editor 
users info. Here we go. Data list preset browser. There we go. So I got my preset browser now. I've got my item properties. I've got my item list shader tree. I've got three model view and a preview. So this is my new layout. So I'm going to say layout save and it Barry's layout already exists. Do you want to overwrite it? Yes, I do. Okay. So now I have this layout and I want someone else to have that layout as a default in their moto, um, install when they load up that they just have this one and they can use it. So what I need to do is I need to save out, this is in my default config file if I just shut down Moto. But what if I want it to export it to somebody else so that they can have it by default uh, without having to put it in their, in their default config file? Well, all I need to do is I go File, Config Export, and this is where I would put it, but I want to save this out so I can share it. So I'm going to go back to that folder that I created, okay, and I'm going to call this... Um, Barry's layout CFG and I just want to do the layout now it won't export the default layout of like the tab and animate and all that stuff because you just get that with moto you're not going to destroy that you could that just comes with the default um, install so I don't want to import it I just want to do that and I want to say okay and now if I go to that folder I've got this layout config that has all the information for my layout in there Okay, so I'm going to close that. Now I'm going to go back to Moto, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to close Moto down. Okay, I'm going to go to right here where the, my configs folder is. I'm going to um, go back up one, and I'm going to delete this Moto 701 config. So now it has no idea about the layout that I just created. Okay, so I'm going to say yes, delete that. And then remember, if I go to configs, I have these two. So it should be a blank install with just my system, system preferences and my input mapping. Okay, so it's Maya. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to Moto here. Start it up. Blank install. It thinks I don't know anything. Say no, no. But my navigation is correct. Like that. Okay. My system preferences are correct, okay? But if I go layout, there's no layout there, okay? So I'm gonna shut Moto down, and then I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to that, oops, I'm gonna go to that config file, oops, click it, copy it, okay, and paste it. So now that layout should come in with Moto, okay? So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna start Moto here. Now if I open it up, it thinks, oh, okay, so I have all my stuff, and I go to layout, and sure enough, there's my layout. I click it, and there it is. Okay, so you can share that with somebody else. You can put all these, these sectioned config files in a shareable place, and, those, and somebody with a new install can just click and drag, or uh, can just drag and drop those into their config folder, and um, there it is, and they've got everything you have, okay? Uh, settings, input mapping, preferences, layouts, all that goodness, okay? So that's how we use, that's a, a simple way of doing a new layout, setting it up, getting it ready to hand off to somebody else, and um, makes it really nice and easy to, to work with, okay? So I'm sure there's probably stuff I missed. I'm sure there's probably stuff I may have done maybe the wrong way, um, but I'd love to hear comments and suggestions about it. Um, but Anyways, I thought for somebody who's trying to get into, into Moto, trying to understand it like I was, uh, I wanted to record this not, for, not only for myself, but for other people who are trying to figure it out too. So thanks a lot.